To create a song playlist, click the Add Playlist button or choose File and then New Playlist. In the Source pane, a new playlist appears with the oh-so-descriptive name Untitled Playlist. Go ahead and give the playlist a better name. The playlist name is highlighted, so you can immediately start typing. Now you're ready to start adding songs. Select Music in the Source pane, and then drag songs from the library to the playlist. You can drag one song at a time, or drag a group of songs. The order of the songs follows the order in which you drag them to the playlist, but you can rearrange the songs in any order you want. To start rearranging, select the playlist in the Source pane, and make sure the Number column on the left is selected. Then decide whether you want to move one song or a group of songs. To move one song up or down in the playlist, simply click and drag the song. To move a group of songs at one time, click the first song, press Shift and click the last song in the range you want to move. Drag the group into the new position. You can also press the Control key while clicking in Windows, or the Command key while clicking on a Mac, to select specific songs and then drag them to a new position. Once you have a playlist, you can burn it to a CD. If your playlist includes music purchased from the iTunes Store in the protected AAC encoding format, some rules might apply. For example, if your playlist contains protected songs, you can only burn that playlist a limited number of times. Before you burn your playlist to a CD, you need to find out if it will fit on one disc. Select the playlist, and at the bottom of the iTunes window, you can see the number of songs, the total playing time, and the total megabytes for that playlist. When burning audio CDs, always use actual duration in hours, minutes, and seconds to calculate how much music you can fit on the CD. Blank CDs can hold at least 70 minutes, but be sure to leave at least one extra minute for the gaps between songs. You do the opposite for an MP3 CD or a data DVD. Instead of measuring by time, use the actual megabytes to calculate how many song files can fit on a disc. If you have too many songs in the playlist to fit on a CD, iTunes burns as many songs as will fit. Then it asks you to insert another CD to continue burning the remaining songs. You can create a temporary, on-the-go playlist right on your iPod. This playlist remains in your iPod until you clear it or save it as a new iPod playlist. When you sync your iPod, the on-the-go playlist is copied to your iTunes library and cleared automatically from your iPod. To select items for your on-the-go playlist, locate and highlight a song, album title, or other media. Press and hold the Select button until the title flashes. Continue adding items in the order that you want them played. You can add items to the on-the-go playlist at any time until you clear the playlist, save it, or synchronize your iPod automatically. To play the on-the-go playlist, scroll the music menu until Playlists is highlighted, and then press the Select button. In the Playlists menu, scroll to highlight on-the-go, which is at the very end of the menu. Then press the Select button. The songs are in the order in which you added them to the playlist. Scroll up or down the list to highlight a song, and press the Select button to start the playlist from that song.